Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Really excited to bring you uh, this new idea. Uh, this is the January edition of iPad Monthly. We're going to jump straight into it. We're looking at science concepts uh, at the moment. We're going to look at this fantastic um, app that I came across called Simple Machines. Uh, fantastic. This one, you can select a whole range of different um, science concepts and explorations about machines. This one kind of looks at levers and projections. And basically what we do here is we move this along and then we pull down on the lever and it looks at different projections that's going through the air. So I thought about why don't we use this in a bit of a science context and looks, let's look at kind of making predictions and drawing conclusions from what we see. So we might start with something that's uh, right in the middle there and we might take a screenshot of that um, and then what we might actually do is get our kids to jump in to explain everything. Another one of our fame, um, favorite apps in iPad Monthly. Let's jump in here, go with a black template so that you can see it. We'll go with the plus. Let's bring in that photo that we just took, that screenshot in our camera roll. And what we can actually do there is start to, oh, I'll make that back big, press done, make that small here. We could look at starting to make some predictions about what we think might happen. So when our kids are exploring these great apps uh, that really are looking at consuming and touching and dragging, we also want them to actually to explain their thinking. And I think Explain Everything and Book Creator and these sort of apps do that really well. So what we can do there is let's add some text. So we'll press on the A, tap on the screen and just write, uh, let's make a prediction here, guys. And I'll just go here. And we know that we can actually use this in a number of kind of ways. We can, I'll just make that a little bit smaller, hit the ticky box. We could do it as a sound recording. We could do it as a movie recording. And then what we can do is jump back and forth between our two apps. Let's go to Simple Machines, uh, do a little bit of a flick, have a look at where it actually hits, hits the middle. We can actually make an adjustment there. Why don't we make an adjustment there? What have we learnt? Take a screenshot. And what we actually can do is jump in to explain everything, keep building on those different concepts. So I'll bring in that last one that we actually did. And once again, we can actually draw that down, make a prediction there as well. Um, we could actually do something a little bit more than that too. We could actually say, let's go to a, a new page here and bring in that same prediction. Uh, where are we? Let's bring in that last one that we had. I'll press done. And what I'm going to do here is press the I on the left-hand toolbar and actually set that as a background so it doesn't move. Let me just test that. No, it doesn't move. And what we can actually do there is start to actually draw, uh, let's go with a pink, the projection that I think it might make. So we might say, oh, I think it's going to project there or I think it's going to project there. Uh, we could actually get our students to do a screen recording about um, where they think it actually can go. We might actually go one step further and do a little animation, for example. We could actually bring in, um, let me see, what could I bring in? A little circle. I could bring in a blue circle or a pink circle there. And what we could do is we could do a screen recording about where we think that might go as a bit of an animation. So many possibilities in Explain Everything and using simple machines as a way of exploring science concepts. Hope you found that useful. Once again, plenty of great ideas um, on our website. Uh, so if you just jump into um, iPad Monthly, do a search for iPad Monthly, you'll see some more terrific ideas. And don't forget, um, even if you subscribe now, you get access to all the other great um, ideas in the past six, seven uh, editions of iPad Monthly. So jump on board, fantastic ideas for teachers and kids using iPads in the classroom. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.